Hey, welcome to the Insurance Buzz. My name is Michael Weaver and I am your host. And today I am reviewing part three of the five-step sales system to make six figures as an insurance professional. Part three is all about, I hinted at this in part two. So if you haven't heard part one and part two, I would encourage you to go back I'm walking you through the entire conversation and you can use this framework. It doesn't matter if it's a new business PNC sales conversation, life insurance conversation, it doesn't matter. This is the five-step sales system and process to make six figures in insurance sales regardless of what you are selling. All right, so make sure you go back, check out part one, part two. Part three is all about the discovery conversation. What is important to the customer? What are they looking for out of their insurance plan? What are they looking for out of their insurance agent? All right, that is what you have to figure out in this portion of the conversation. So we've had the elevator pitch. We've had the rapport building. Now, part of the rapport building is going into what is of interest to the client. What problem do they have that you can solve. That's why you're in the business, right? To help people. That's the number one answer I receive when I ask someone, why are you in the insurance industry? To help people, to help people. You don't help people by saving them money. You don't help people by giving them apples to apples. All right, you help people by solving problems. You're not selling products, you are selling solutions. And the only way that you can figure out if you are a good fit for this client, and more importantly, if this client is a good fit for you, is by having a discovery conversation with the client and figuring out what they are going to look for in an insurance plan. For example, one question that we teach, that I teach is, hey, besides price, tell me what's important to you when it comes to your insurance plan. What does every single client say to that? Price, price, I just want I just want the cheapest rate. I just want to save money. And that's what they think, all right? Because since 1999, Geico has had these commercials and then every other insurance company joined the bandwagon. Save money, join us and save money, join us and save money, save money, save money, save money, save money, save money. Save money. So what did, what happened over the last two decades? Customers, our age group, millennials, Gen Zs have been just taught insurance is just a freaking just save money. They're all the same. It's all the same. It doesn't matter who you do business with. It is all the same. Just save as much money as you can. All right. When you know, and I know that that's not true. If you don't have an adequate insurance plan, you can be financially devastated, but customers don't know that customers don't know what insurance does for them. That's your job as the insurance professional. That's why you have a job. That's why you have a career. You have the ability to change people's lives. You have the ability to make sure that on someone's worst day, that they're not financially devastated. Their house burns down. You're going to relocate and build your house. They told out their car. They have a rental car. They can, they can get their car replaced. They pass away. Their family's not devastated financially. You have that power. You have the most important profession in the world. All right, so let's get into this real fast. Discovery conversation. So this is where you're going to structure the conversation around, hey, what are you looking for in your insurance plan? For example, if you were to total out your car, what do you want that claims process to look like? What do you want to make sure is covered? What are you going to expect out of me during that process? Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, I got to ask you a question. What's important to you when it comes to your insurance plan? For example, What does your customer service expectations look like out of me, out of the company? When you call in, what does that look like? Do you want to be able to manage your policies from your phone? Why would that be important to you? Mr. and Mrs. Customer, what do you expect out of your insurance agent like myself? Do you like the idea of having that go-to person and expert that you can call on? And get your questions answered. You don't have to bounce around from a 1-800 number to a 1-800 number. All right, would that be important to you? And if they say yes, why? Why would that be important to you? Why would you why would you want me in your back pocket? Why would you want to have a relationship with an expert? Why would that be important to you? Why would it be important to you to make sure that you don't have to call 1-800 number and, and wait on hold? 
All right, so you have to figure out what is important to your customer because in the presentation, which is gonna be part four of the series where I'm gonna break down a presentation, you're gonna make sure that your presentation is unique to this customer's needs and wants. This is how you separate yourself. Nobody else in the industry is figuring out what is important to the customer. Very, very small percentage of insurance producers are figuring out what's important to the customer. And so this is, I, I said in the last episode, building rapport is your differentiating factor. Discovery conversation is right there with rapport. All right. With these two things, you can differentiate yourself. You can build commonalities with a client and you can figure out what's important to the customer so that you have the information to then solve this customer's problems and satisfy their needs when it comes to their insurance plan. So making sure that you take this, this time, this can be a five minute conversation, maybe it's a 10 minute conversation, and really digging into not only letting them answer that high level question, but ex being extremely curious, why would that be important to you? Just by doing this one step, you're automatically going to set yourself up for success in the presentation and the close because you're figuring out what's important to the client, making sure that they are an ideal client and they align with you and your company's values. And then in the presentation, you can solve their problem and what they're looking for. All right. So if you enjoyed today's episode, let me know that. Text me 816-727-7610. If you haven't already, please leave us a five-star review. You can just scroll up on, on your phone right now. Leave a five-star review on Apple or Spotify. Maybe you're checking us out on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Let us know you're here. Other than that, I appreciate you. Appreciate your support. As always, time and attention are by far the most important assets that we have. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Go out and make it great. <laughs>